Good morning guys, actually it's not morning anymore, it is 1.36, um, a bit late starting this vlog, usually I start them in the morning but um, we've just had quite a slow, I want to say productive, weren't really productive but we've just had a slow morning really, we've done some, I already put a wash load on, there's another wash load in and the other load is on the line um, but now I'm going to sit and I'm um, sat on the floor and I'm going to do my Arla exam well I'm revising for my Arla um, so it stands for Association of Residential Letting Agents and it's an exam that I need to do for work and this is everything I need to learn and let me tell you it's going to take me some time um, yeah so I'm going to sit put a little bit of the Vampire Diaries on in the background and try and revise as much as I can for this because, let's be honest, work are not going to be very happy with me if they realise I've had like eight weeks, maybe even going into nine weeks off work and I haven't revised for it one bit. I've done a little bit. I have done some. Um, like, I'll show you. Bear with. Like, oh. So this is like my book so far. Let's just totally skip some pages. So I have done quite a bit, but I definitely need to continue. Okay, I've decided that, you know what, it's 20 to 5 and I want to bake. Um, I was going to make cupcakes because I actually made some the other day and I took some round for Leanne and Leanne thought they were like the best thing ever. So I was going to make her some more but then actually I've decided I'm going to make Millionaire's shortbread. I'm using Tiny Bear's recipe, I've used a lot of her recipes before, absolutely love them. Um, so I'm sure this one will be absolutely fine. So I'm not going to like be real chatty throughout this. I'm just going to sort of try and like get to the point of what you need to do and what you need. So first things first, you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees um, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You also want to um, then line a 20 centimetre square baking tin with greaseproof paper. Now I don't have a 20 centimetre one, so I'm just trying to like work with what I've got. Um, these that two I've got, they're both sort of similar sizes but they are different and I'm just trying, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mixture first and then f sort of eyeball which one I think will be best. So the first thing that you need is 175 grams of cold butter. Um, it, I'm using salted butter, I don't, it doesn't state what's the best butter to use I don't think it really matters and I'm just going to cut mine up into cubes um, because you're then going to want to rub it together with the flour and the sugar. To your butter mixture you want 75 grams of caster sugar and then 250 grams of plain flour. Then what you're going to do with clean hands is you're going to rub this mixture together. Um, if you ever made an apple crumble or to be honest any kind of like um, shortbread, any biscuit, anything like that. Um, you just like sort of like rub it together until it resembles breadcrumbs. Now that you have your breadcrumb consistency, all you want to do is sort of like knead it together until it comes together. It will seem really dry at first, um, but it will come together eventually. So just keep working into it. Once it is sort of somewhat resembling a, um, like a, what am I trying to say? Oh, why has it gone so dark? Sorry guys, hopefully it comes light again. Um, once it's somewhat come together, you just want to press it into your chosen dish. I decided to go with the bigger one out of those two that I showed you. We're just pressing all of that in as even as possible. 
sorry guys I had to change cameras so I'm just hoping you can still see me but once you've done that and it's all in your base you just want to put it in the oven 20 minutes or until it's like golden brown on top so what you need in the in a pan on like a medium heat is you want 100 grams of butter 100 grams of caster sugar you want two tablespoons of golden syrup two tablespoons of golden syrup and then you also want um, one can of condensed milk I'm going to add my condensed milk in and then you're just going to stir it until it starts to look somewhat like caramel. As you can see guys it's slowly starting to get there so it's starting to thicken and it's starting to go like a more golden brown. Um, please be obviously so super careful if you're doing this. This is like scorching hot sugar and it will burn you so if you're young then please don't do this on your own um, and just be so so careful um, but yeah I would say that this is almost ready um, but I'll show you when it is okay so mine is now done sorry the lighting's not very good let me move it over here if this is any better I would say mine's now done. As you can see, I have I have actually, the brown bits in it are actually bits where it stuck to the bottom a little bit. So just be really careful. And it's because I wasn't paying attention um, and I wasn't constant, constantly stirring it. So just make sure you are constantly stirring it. Now you just need to wait for your um, biscuit to finish in the oven and then you can pour this over the top. Okay, the next thing you wanna do now that your biscuit base is out and your caramel's done, you're just gonna pour it over the top. So you're just going to pour your caramel on top so it's even and then you literally just want to leave it to, to completely set because or until you feel like it is okay to pour chocolate on top. Um, and then once this is all set you're going to melt 350 grams of chocolate and then you're going to pour it on top so I'll get back to you once this is set and we're ready to pour the chocolate on. Okay, so I'm just melting the chocolate now. As you can see, it's pretty much melted. Um, and then we're going to pour it over the shortbread because, as you can see over here, it's pretty much set now. Like, it's okay to... Um, obviously, it's making still in dense, but it's okay to pour the chocolate over. So we're going to... I'm just... Want to melt everything, all your caramels, I thought? No, it should be okay. So, do it. right, I think we're gonna do Try it. So, I'm just gonna. Be moist. <laughs> Ew. I'm just gonna pour the chocolate on top. And then, unfortunately, you've just gotta wait. You've literally just gotta pour the chocolate on top. And then you've gotta wait until it's set. Okay, so now that your chocolate is all spread on top what you want to do is literally just wait for it to set unfortunately if once on, it's if set on bake off, they'd put it in the freezer they would put it in the freezer i might even do that but no, that's not the thing enough, um really. you have to take the bottom drawer out <laughs> once um once it's set all you want to do is cut up into the amount of squares that you want i'll probably do maybe like one Twelve. two three Mm. Yeah, probably about 12 slices. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll show you when ours comes out. It is like quarter, 20 to 8 by now. Um, so ours is not going to be ready for a little while. But I'll try and show you. And if I don't, I'll show you in the morning. Um, yeah, there you go. That's how you make your billionaire's shortbread. So, sorry that the light is probably really bad right now, but I thought I'd just quickly show you the finished um, short, oh, shortbread. So I've taken it out of the uh, what it was in now, and I've cut it up into pieces. Oh, sorry. And this is what it looks like. So it actually, oh, sorry, it actually looks really good, and we have had a couple of pieces. And if I do say so myself, it was good, and I'm glad 
um, that I used that bigger dish because I really think that it made all of the difference and I'm glad that they're a little bit thicker. Um, it made four, eight, 12, 16 pieces actually and I'm going to take um, a few round for Leanne tomorrow um, because if I didn't say, I think I did, but if I didn't say before I made Millionaire shortbread because she really wanted to make some today but um, she couldn't so I made some for her and I'm going to go and take that round for her tomorrow but yeah, just going to finish this vlog now I think me and my mum are just watching Pretty Woman which is one of our favourite films drinking a bottle of the jam shed red wine i i am not a big red wine red wine fan guys i really really don't like it that much to be honest but this is the jam shed um shiraz wine it's rich jammy and smooth and honestly it's so good this is my second glass and I really really like it but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I know that it was a little bit different and a little bit sort of like not all over the place but I'm hoping that it wasn't too boring hopefully the baking um made it a little bit more interesting but yeah gonna watch Pretty Woman with my mum now and drink our wine I'm actually just gonna make my mum another rum and coke because that's what she's drinking this evening and I'll see you in another video um, that will hopefully be live on Sunday. Bye guys.